Hello again, you extraordinary subscribers. Welcome back, everybody, to the Hemingway Land YouTube channel. Before I begin, guys, have a bit of a story to share with you this week. My understanding, I get a lot of feedback on the stories, and apparently people enjoy these videos more when I tell stories, or rather, complain about things. And this week, I have something to share with you guys, which we could consider kind of a complaint. Um, anyway, if you're not interested, if you don't find these videos uh, more interesting when I complain about that, just, ref, just fast forward. It's, it's, it's one of the main features here on YouTube. Just fast forward, okay? Anyway, point being, guys, with all that preamble, uh, as you can imagine, this is a title company story. It's a story about a title company. In our new segment, title company stories, or, oh my God, I can't believe I pay money for this. So about six months ago, we were buying a property somewhere in New Mexico. I won't say where, because then you'll figure out who the title company was. I will, however, say this. The county is named after one of our vice presidents. So if you go through the long list of guys who've been vice president and one lady, and you run the names opposite the counties in New Mexico, you might be able to figure it out. Do some Googling, guys. It'll be a fun little activity. And then if you figure it out, just leave your answer in the comment section below. So the point is we were buying a property, and uh, we'll use round numbers. The, uh, the, the purchase price of the property uh, was $10,000, and uh, the, the people selling it to us were selling it for $10,000. And so uh, the title company comes back to us at the end of their way too long period of research, and they say, hey, you know, just, just FYI, there's a $9,500 lien on this property. What do you want to do? And in my mind, I don't really understand the question, what do I want to do? Pay somebody else's debt? No, uh, number one. But number two, there's a contract. We have a contract. It's why we write the thing and we present it to you guys. So you don't have to come and ask us who pays for what. But anyway, so ultimately the seller was going to be responsible for the lien. Now, most sellers in that circumstance would tell us to pound sand, walk away from the deal and try to sell it to somebody who, you know, doesn't research these things. But these people just want to be done with the debt. They want to be done with the lien. They were willing to sell a property for 10000 and only pocket $500. So they said, okay, we're going to proceed. We told the title company, we forwarded their email agreeing to this. And the title company, the owner of the title company, wrote back essentially saying, you know, roger that. All right, affirmative. So we funded the deal. We paid the title company. We bought the property. We listed the property. And about six months later, we sell the property. Well, anyway, we're currently in escrow waiting to be paid on this. And about four weeks ago, the title company contacts my transaction coordinator. Now, guys, here's a little background on my transaction coordinator. She's the world's most delightful person. That's all you need to know. World's most delightful person. And she's intensely responsible. And... Uh, uh, basically, she tries to keep the knucklehead stuff off my radar. She tries not to tell me when there's a problem. Telling me is the last resort. So anyway, so about four weeks ago, the title company contacts her and says, hey, there's a $9,500 lien on this property. It's going to come out of your proceeds. Well, she then explains the story that I just explained to you and provides all the email proof that you guys said you were going to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the title company begins faffing her around. Three weeks of faffing her around and no, uh, we'll get back to you we'll get back to you they never get back to her and then the only person who can make a command decision on this mysteriously vanishes on vacation and then he's sick and then he's in the hospital and then he's on maternity leave or whatever so so she finally makes me aware of this and uh you know my reaction when i hear things like this it makes me want to what is the expression pissed blood ah yes that's the expression i get unreasonably upset about these things because this is not a case of oh it's not in the policy or there's some obscure clause in the policy that gives them an out on you know having to fulfill this obligation this is we gave you money to pay something and you didn't pay it so you either gave our money away to the sellers or it's in your bank account but this is an easy one there's a paper trail there's your obligations this is simple. You know, be an adult, apologize, pay the thing, move on with your life. But please don't suggest to me that I now have to pay the $9,500 lien a second time. So anyway, now I have to step in. And for the record, I never, ever, ever talk to anybody at these title companies. Why? Because I don't know if you can tell. I don't enjoy it, number one. But number two, because my transaction coordinator, who again, world's most delightful person, has to be the good cop to my bad cop. I have to get called in occasionally to get on the phone and start yelling at people to get something done. Doesn't happen often, maybe once a year. But basically, that's my whole role in this. When you're being a complete idiot, then I have to get on the phone. So, of course, I get on the phone and uh, the conversation, it has to be akin to like every scene in a gangster movie that's like, Fucking kids, I'll get some money. 
fucking cocksucker. Hey, you fat Irish prick. You put my fucking money to sleep. You go get my money or I'll put your fucking brain to sleep. Because it's pretty simple. You have my money. What are you going to do with my money? Pay the thing. I'm not paying it a second time. Well, anyway, turns out after you have a conversation like that, after you do your best Joe Pesci on the phone, then, oh, look at this. Mia culpa, mia culpa. We'll t we're totally going to take care of that. We're totally going to take care of that, boss. Totally going to take care of that, buddy. No problem, sir. Then, oh, problems go away. Perhaps some of the 12 women who listen to these videos on a regular basis can leave a comment in the section below. Is this a sexist thing? Is this because my transaction coordinator is a girl and I'm not, and so I get a response when she wouldn't? Is it because she's delightful and I have the exact opposite temperament in this phone call? What is the reason that people are complete idiots for four weeks and then suddenly, oh yeah, you're right, totally, we're totally gonna be, I, who knows? Anyway, feel free to leave a comment. Illuminate. Illuminate the life experience here. If in fact I'm onto something. Anyway, so there you go. So now we're apparently wrapping up this deal. Eventually, I guess. And, uh, and we don't have to pay the thing we already paid. Yay. Anyway, guys, with all that said, do want to, let me get out the list here, guys. Do want to thank all the people who bought, I hope that was amusing, guys. Oh, I hope that was... I hope somebody enjoyed that. Anyway, do want to thank all the people who bought land from us this past week in special thanks to all the people who gave us money in exchange for land. There we go. We're still working on the title. Anyway, in Valencia County, guys, long list of buyers this week. Kellen, Name, Ayudeji, Gary, and Yashua, those three, by the way, returning customers, all bought land from us in Valencia County. In neighboring Torrance County, Frank, Lena, and Albert all bought property from us out there. And in Hawaii, the state of Hawaii, you remember Hawaii, guys? Remember how we used to, like, buy property out there all the time and sell property out there all the time? Ah, it's, it's slowed incredibly. But uh, we sold the final property that we had out there, that quarter acre $25,000 to returning customer Annette. Thank you to Annette. I will tell you guys, we have more property coming up in Hawaii in the weeks ahead. Apparently, however, there's a lot of rubbish on the property. So we're currently spending some money to get the rubbish removed. So check back with us in a month or two, and maybe it'll be up on the website. We'll see. Anyway, additionally, guys, special thanks to Sarah M. Sarah bought zero properties from us this week, but Sarah wrote me a delightful email in which uh, I got a lot of compliments. I, of course, despite my uh, extreme desire for anonymity here on the internet, I, uh, I am an egomaniac. Oh. Oh, do I love compliments. Oh, it was great. And a little change of pace from the typical nonsense that gets written in emails in the course of a day. So thank you to Sarah M. Much appreciated. Anyway, people, with all that said, as you can see by the state flag we have queued up here, yes, guys, we are back in Nevada this week, back in Elko County. I know you're all getting a little sick of Elko County, but I will tell you that this is the last time for a while. These three new listings going live this week are the last of the acquisitions from August, finally up on the website. So, guys... Second row down here, we got three new properties going live in Elko County in the River Valley Ranch. River Valley? That's not a word. River Valley Ranchos and the Humboldt River Ranchos. These two subdivisions are very similar to the Twin River Ranchos, where we have previously listed land. Whatever the case, each of these, roughly 2.2 acres, priced at $7,500. Easy financing available on all three guys. These are... Um, you know, the subdivisions that are out here in this region are kind of interchangeable as far as zoning, as far as covenants, restrictions, lack thereof, I should say, utilities, roads, so on and so forth. So we did one video. We're posting it across all of these uh, properties within these respective subdivisions, and you will occasionally get an additional insights video ah, at the bottom of the page when there is something special to say about a property that happens to be a little unique for whatever reason. This property right here, ELNV 4823 corner lot in a developed area close to power and utilities is the one that we will be focusing on in today's video. First off, guys, let me direct your attention to the Google Maps, where, of course, we've got the pin in the map where all these subdivisions, all these properties are located up here just north of the I-80, just north of Rindon, roughly about 10, 15 minutes north, northeast of the town of Elko. And guys, if we zoom in on the map, what you're going to see here is that all these subdivisions all kind of back up to one another, Twin River Ranchos, Humboldt River Ranchos, and River Valley Ranchos, all within this area, all basically the same developer, subdivided everything in exactly the same way. They're all zoned the same way. So the information is largely interchangeable. Property we're going to focus on today, however, guys, there's two regions up here. You got the developed region, you got the undeveloped region. 
This one is down here in the developed region. We were lucky to get this property. It's a corner lot located right here at the corner of Harrison and Jacinto. And if we go to the photo gallery, guys, you will see that there's a couple features of this property that the other ones that we have in inventory don't boast. Number one, oh, I'd love to tell you the roads are better maintained out here. I don't really think they are. Our photographer reported the best road conditions in this little region here by this property, less than a mile from the highway, about three-fifths of a mile north of the highway. So presumably a little bit of road access out here. Whatever the case, there's underground utilities out here, about 100 feet shy of the subject property and servicing the nearby home sites that you see in the region. Now, guys, let me briefly mention this. So we got power roughly about 800 feet away at this very nice little home over here. And we got a very nice house over here. And then we've got what looked to be some pretty junky trailers. I'm going to be honest with you guys, some pretty junky trailers. And I don't know what the deal is. I have yet to fully wrap my mind around the Elko County zoning ordinance, which says you can't do this, this, or that. And then every property I see seems to be doing this, this, or that. I feel like the zoning ordinance is more of a, a list of recommendations more than it is an actual, like, we can find you for this. So anyway, if you want to buy some properties and you care about property values and you want them to appreciate over time, maybe this is not the region for you. If, however, you are more likely to do something like this or something, quote, unconventional, then this may be the property for you. And if it is the region for you guys, then you should know that this one, of course, has the nearby power, has the nearby underground utilities. As we go through the photo gallery, you will see more of the non-conforming structures. Non-conforming is my diplomatic and charitable term for I don't even know what these things are that surround the property out here. That is, uh, you'd like to believe that's a property boundary marker, but our photographer only sent back one, claims he didn't see three others. So I'm just going to take a guess that it's a random orange stick in the ground, who knows. But anyway, as you can see, nice flat buildable land, easy to build on, easy to park on. And of course, you've got the stunning views of the surrounding valley, including the nearby Ruby Mountains, just off in the distance right here. I swear to God, we're coming to a photo of a mountain at some point. Yes, there we go, guys. Anyways, the nearby Ruby Mountains off in the distance, beautiful picturesque scenery out here, and of course, very close to the town of Elko. Should be noted, guys, as I mentioned earlier, all of these properties have easy financing. It's not just the cash price, guys. We assume if you're buying a piece of property like this, you're going to be developing it. You're going to spend some money to develop it. And while you're developing, you could also be owning, paying for both as you go, so on and so forth. $3,000 down, guys. And of course, if you want to take a look at the contract that we have, on these pages, it allows for 180 days, same as cash, and it is linked down here. So you can review that prior to giving us any money at all. Whatever the case, guys, three new properties going live on the website. This is the highlight of the three, but I will let you check out all of them on your own time. With all that said, guys, going live on the website next week, we are back in New Mexico with some fantastic properties up in the northern part of the state and one in the middle of the state. What? I'm in a mood tonight, guys. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in next week's video.